An investigation is now underway into who the gunman was behind the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump. We're in Bethel Park at the gunman's home to learn more. I just know he was, he was bullied. He was, I don't want to say he was an outcast, but he was, you know how kids nowadays, like he didn't dress like everyone else, so everyone kind of put a target on him, sat alone in lunch. These are the words describing 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, also known as the gunman who opened fire in an attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump near the Butler County Farm Show grounds on the evening of July 13th. Ted, take a look at what happened. Crooks was immediately killed after firing about eight bullets, grazing the former president's ear, killing one adult male and injuring two other adult males. We spoke with Bethel Park alum Summer Barkley, who recalls sitting in history class with Crooks. He was quiet, but whenever he was asked a question, he was always very polite about it. He knew what he was talking about, and so it was never something that he was rude to teachers. Like I said, my history teacher loved him, and my history teacher was a great person. Um, I never doubt his judgment, so, you know, that was what was shocking for me, was seeing someone who had been seen as such a good person in class have this outcome. It was just a shock to me. Crooks was located on top of the AGR building, just a few hundred feet from where the rally took place. According to officials with the FBI, the building was supposedly outside of the secured designated area. But yes, law enforcement was responding uh, to check on several suspicious occurrences. What were the other suspicious occurrences? Uh, that will all be part of the investigation. Officials also shared that there were multiple packages or bags on the farm show grounds that were considered suspicious following the gunfire. In Bethel Park, bomb squads arrived at the gunman's former home on Milford Drive. If you see things like this happen on the news where people say, you never think it would happen to you, you never think it would happen to your town. I'm literally living in that reality right now. Like it's, it's insane. Officials say there is no word on a motive at this time, and classmate Summer Barkley says although Crooks enjoyed history class, his action in school never seemed politically motivated. The victim of Crooks' fire was Corey Comparator of Sarver, Pennsylvania. And again, as you can see behind me, there are officials blocking all of the roads right here on Milford Drive and some surrounding areas. We will work to learn more information. Make sure you stay with us online and on air. For now, reporting in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, Addison Albert.